here's my design for a hand operated kickstand. I just built this the other day and I made some improvements to it today. I was having to um, actually use my heel to get the kickstand to uh, swing out because it was going straight down of course when I pulled the lever. So um, what I did is I just used a couple of coaster brake sprockets. Um, drilled a half inch hole in this one, cut the worm drive off, half inch hole in this one, um, bent up a piece of um, half inch steel rod and ran it through a sleeve and some nylon bushings, welded the sprocket on, and, or welded the hub on and then the sprocket just clips on there like it normally would so it's removable. Uh, the back one, I just cut the worm drive off of it, used the existing axle and the bearing the outer bearing and then I just uh, tighten it down a little bit and double nut it on the back so it moves smoothly and today I went ahead and built a guide that automatically deploys this thing it will um, automatically come out and go back in without having to touch it with your foot at all it's all hand operated if you push it back it just comes straight out and out it goes and when the bicycle leans over it goes against this stop and then there's a stop behind here that's, that stops it from going any further back. Um, and then when you pull it back up, it just follows the guard up and goes right back into place under this tab. So um, it's a pretty simple design. And let me get the camera over here on the back side of it so you can see. There's the guard. get a little further behind it. You can actually see the whole thing there. Okay. And if I pull it, it comes. And back in it goes. There's the sleeve with the bushings in it. Let's put a cotter pin in here to stop this from sliding out. And then this um, actually didn't design it this way but this hits the back tire when it comes all the way down it kind of acts like a parking brake which doesn't really do any good but kind of neat okay so that's my hand operated kickstand